I see you took care of the guards. I hate those monastic curs. They're not paragons of virtue, true, but they were just doing their job. Then they didn't do it well enough. Can we go now? Yes, let's go. Time to finish it. Whether you like it or not, John Natalis, Tamaria will be divided. For the good of the entire North. The united forces of Kedwin and Redania will end the fighting among the Elder Houses and secure peace from Gorsvelen to Elendor. At present, Tamaria is starting to resemble the Pontar Valley. Which, if I understand correctly, is currently controlled by Edern. You are mistaken, Radovid. Vergen is free. Free? What precisely does that mean? Lormark is not Kedwin's, and Eden no longer controls Upper Eden. We have rejected Prince Stennis. King Stennis? And handed King Hensult's army a resounding defeat. Your forces, my dear lass, are nothing but a motley array of rebellious peasants and elven brigands. Sooner or later they will need to swear allegiance to someone, or they will be defeated and dispersed. The peoples of the Pontar Valley will swear allegiance to me, Queen Saskia. As an independent realm, we hereby speak in favor of reconstituting the council and conclave. You're a lovely girl, but you issue from common stock. The sole crown you are worthy of donning is a wreath woven of wildflowers. Redania will recognize no other coronation. In that case, you must choose King Radovid. Will you carve up to Meria? or march on the Pontar Valley. Henselt, last of the line of the Unicorns, has sworn to recognize the Pontar Valley as a free realm. Philippa Eilhart witnessed it. Uh, uh, uh. Philippa Eilhart is in my dungeon, awaiting trial for treason. She was in your dungeon, Radovid, but is no longer. She will sit at my side in Vergen as my royal advisor. Everything we did in Vergen will be in vain. There's still hope. We have the dagger. To the matter at hand. The document describing the charter of the Council and the Conclave is, as previously ascertained, an exact copy of the charter found in the ruins on Thanet Island. The more important question relates to the Conclave and its power to designate royal advisers. Today, randomly chosen majors and sorceresses reside at many courts. However, in the time of the previous Conclave, such persons were carefully chosen. Why shouldn't we pick our own advisors? These individuals bear great responsibility, Your Majesty. The Conclave needs to be certain they are competent. And that they will keep the Conclave's interests in mind. Obviously, sire. The Conclave's chief interest is the well-being and prosperity of the Northern Kingdoms. The document has been signed by every member of the Conclave we have proposed as well as by all but one of the designated advisers. We await only Sheila de Tanserville's signature. Without our royal seals, you should be allowed to designate advisers to cowherds at most. That is true, Your Majesty. My kings, before you sign this document, please hear me out. Excellency, with all due respect, this matter does not concern Nilfgaard in the least. I am here at King Hensel's bidding. Will you deny my right to speak? What is the meaning of this? This man tried to kill me this morning. He attempted to take an Imperial envoy's life in your lands. I presume he was interrogated. He confessed. Faltest and Demiven died by his hand. He also revealed the identity of his employers. 
Sorceresses. They help me with my assassinations. Speak on. The Lodge of Sorceresses sought to remove those rulers who acted against the will of mages. Lodge of Sorceresses? We have compiled a list. Philippa Eilhart, Margarita Loantil, Tris Merigold, Kira Metz, Francesca Finderbear, Ida Amin, and finally, Sheila de Tanzavir. To my deepest regret, two Nilfgaardian sorceresses, Asira Varanahid and Fringa de Vigo, were also members. The Emperor will deal with them accordingly. Our queen left to powder her nose. Your Majesty, what's the meaning of this? Arrest them all. Your document will have to wait, honorable sorcerers. You have no right. Surrender now if you don't want another massacre, this time in Loch Muin. A court of law will reveal the traitors. late. I've already managed to stabilize the portal. You've got nowhere to run. Sooner or later, somebody will find you. I prefer to leave on my own terms. Where's Letho? Sir Synthesis will tend to him, as she will to all the fools who get a hard on at the mere thought of burning a sorceress at the stake. Where is he? I don't know, fool. I've been looking for him since Foltest's assassination. Letho cheated all of us. We were deceived by his dull face and sluggish stare. Don't you understand? The Lodge sought a way to get rid of Demavend, that's true. He was a weak, volatile king. Edern would eventually choke to death under his rule. We chose the lesser evil. He had to be eliminated, and Letho happened to be at hand. Voltest? Henselt? We had nothing to do with that. After assassinating Demavend, Letho used our gold and magical support to find and meet Yorved. The elf was to help him hide until the matter blew over, or so I thought. The Lodge did not condemn Foltest to die. Then who did? Nilfgaard. 
Letho is the king of liars and emperor of traitors. From the start, he worked for the glory of the great sun and the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. He lied to everyone. Me, your vet, your stupid little Triss, and you. Got any evidence? A moment ago, I received a message from the Lodge's agent in Sintra. The Imperial Army is on the move. They're fording the Yoruga now. Do you think the North can defend itself in the current situation? But can you count on another miracle at Brenna? I don't know, but you made it all possible and you'll answer for that. The stigma of treason is yours for all time. We shall see. For no one will leave this city alive. No one will tell this story. Philippa controls the dragon. As soon as I disappear, it will turn the city into a flaming tomb. We may have lost a battle, but the war is just beginning. You, however, shall not take part in it. This is your end, Witcher. Farewell! Something's not right! The diamond! Someone replace the diamond! This one's flawed! I'll be torn to bits! Geralt, remove it! You waited long enough. Should you survive, go south, to Nilfgaard, where you'll find Yennefer of Vengerberg. Farewell, Witcher. Damn it.